A pill has cut the risk of hospitalization or death from COVID-19 by half in a study, Merck and Ridgeback Biotherapeutics said Friday. It would become the first oral medicine that fights viral infection for COVID-19 if approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for emergency use authorization. Also on Friday, California Governor Gavin Newsom said his state will become the nation's first to require COVID-19 vaccinations for students. The mandate will be a condition of in-person attendance for the 6 million students in the state's public schools. Independent studies an option for those unvaccinated, Newsom's office said in a release. Previously required are vaccines against diseases such as diphtheria, polio, measles, mumps and chicken pox. In August, the state required all school staff to either show proof of COVID vaccination or submit to weekly testing. At the interim analysis, Molna Brava reduced the risk of hospitalization or death by approximately 50%, Merck said in a news release. 7. 3% of patients who received Molnupiravir were either hospitalized or died through day 29 following randomization, 28385, compared with 14. 1% of placebo-treated patients, 53, 377. Through day 29, no deaths were reported in patients who received Molnupiravir, as compared to 8 deaths in patients who received placebo. Merck said it will seek FDA emergency use authorization as soon as possible. Molnupiravir is not a vaccine. It is an oral antiviral, and experts have said developing such a drug could be the next chance to thwart COVID-19. A short-term regimen of daily pills would aim to fight the virus early after diagnosis and prevent symptoms from developing after exposure. Merck has been producing doses while awaiting the study results and expects to produce 10 million by the end of the year. One antiviral drug has been approved to treat COVID. Remdesivir is given intravenously to sick patients in the hospital. It is not meant for early, widespread use. The announcement by Merck is very good news, Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said Friday in a White House COVID-19 briefing. The news of the efficacy of this particular antiviral is obviously very good news, Fauci said. The company, when they briefed us last night, had mentioned that they will be submitting their data to the FDA imminently. The best way to think about the antiviral, when it is authorized or approved, is as an additional tool, White House COVID-19 Response Coordinator Jeff Zions added. If approved, I think the right way to think about this is this is a potential additional tool in our toolbox to protect people from T. 